our work in Glasgow um, has looked at the, the range of pathologies and is, is continuing to uh, grow the information on the range of pathologies that we see in people who've been exposed to brain injury. And so far, we, we, what we're seeing is, is variations of a theme that you would, you would see in other dimensions as well. So we see amyloid pathologies, we see tau pathologies, uh, we see abnormalities with inflammation, with blood-brain barrier. You know, th these are all things that we see in other types of dementia as well. Uh, but again, the important thing is that in the trauma-associated dementia, we know what has set this off. We know, we know this, it's been the head injury which has begun the process of degeneration. So we can use that time frame to begin to understand which may be the most important, which, which is the one that's driving it. And I think that will then inform other dementias like Alzheimer's.